All right, so before I get into the video, I'm going to say it again. Come over to uh, Funnel Hacker Pro. It's fhp.io. I made it really easy for you to get there. Um, FunnelHackerPro.com. It's uh, my Facebook group. Uh, we, we talk about everything, man. We talk about see exercising here, um, everything from uh, how to use Modic or if I'm using it or not, um, email marketing stacks, um, everything. We talk about everything here, um, and we do it without the founders of softwares and they're pitching us what we like or what we don't like uh, we just you know it's just honest talk or whatever i also do free training in there list building code outreach i give away courses i talk about mindset everything that you see here on my youtube channel is probably times 10 inside the group come join the conversation i'll see you when you get there all right so today what i really want to talk about is um doing what you like to do right so I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna go to the reference i want to reference this for you down here um a couple of guys made a, com a comment to me and um i just wanted to it, it's not it's, it's nothing um wrong with what they said to me it's just how people think right so i posted up here first of all i've been exercising every day for the last 37 days um and it took me a long time to, to really like try to, it was the last thing that I needed to do in my life. Seriously. I need to stop drinking water. I needed to stop smoking, you know, these type of things. I need to get serious about business and I've done all of these things, but the exercising was something that I really needed to get focused on. So I did it. I banged it out and I did it for every day for the last 37 days. I'll be doing it for 30 more days to build the good habit. And so I just posted that I, I'm getting, getting serious now. I want to start working out about two hours a day. I'm, I'm working out an hour a day now. I was getting serious. And so the first comment is here, hey, man, you know, 200 burpees per day is way more effective and less time consuming, by the way. And so and then somebody else said, um, you know, why the bike? Why, you know, have you looked at this? This is what I use. Right. And my answer was because I enjoy riding. Right. Somebody was like, oh, that's what she said. <laughs> I like that. Um I knew somebody was going to say that too. And I, I didn't say anything. I just let it go. It was like, all right, okay. I knew, I knew it was coming. So anyways, <laughs> there's, that's what she said too, right? <laughs> so I ride this bike or I'm going to ride this bike because I rode a bike before and I really enjoyed it in the gym, right? I really enjoyed it. I had a great time. And I don't want to do 200 burpees because it just seems boring to me to just do out you know, 20 burpees at a time, and you know, 10 times, whatever. I don't care. I just don't want to keep doing the same thing over and over and over again, which is the reason why I bought the bike because I'm already doing exercise and I'm doing the same exercise every day and it's starting to get boring. So I want to break it up. I want to go swimming. I want to ride my bike. And he's like, well, I guess if, if you just want to have fun, it's not as effective. Well, I tend to disagree with that. And the only reason is because I'm doing this for the rest of my life. This isn't something I'm doing for a result. I'm doing this because I just want to exercise every day. That's the result. So if I'm exercising when I'm 80 fucking years old, then the bike riding and the swimming and whatever the fuck I decide to do worked for me, right? Not the 200 burpees. The point isn't the 200 burpees. The point is, is that I want to do something that I love to do and, uh, and enjoy it, and that'll make me go do it more. If I decide to say I wanted to do 200 fucking burpees, it's not going to... I probably would do it for a week and then quit because it's not something that I want to do. I'm getting to a point, and I want you to hang out with me because I'm going to talk about business in a moment. But first, I want to tell you another story about fishing. Oh, Sonny, not fishing again. Yeah, because it just it, it fits. You'll see. So there's all kind of fishing going on, right? So we can go fishing with lures, which me and my wife think suck, right? We don't like it. Right? Why? Because you, 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 it's just too much work and you never find a fish. Ever. We've tried it. It doesn't work, right? <laughs> no bullshit. So then you can go fly fishing, which is really kind of graceful. And I like fly fishing because it's quiet and you're in small streams. But I do that because I just like the way the, the, the whole like motion of fly fishing. And I've never even caught a fish fly fishing yet, right? But I just like the equipment and I like the thought of it. And I'll go play with fly fishing forever. And my wife will go, dude, you're never catching a fish like that. Doesn't matter. I like it. Like, dude, you're not catching fish like that. But when my wife want to go out, when, when, we, when we go out, she and I, and we want to catch a fish, 
There's one, and we want to eat. There's one surefire way of doing that. How's that, wife? Give me the fishing pole. And then? Let me put it in the water. With what? Worms. Worms! <laughs> Fish cannot turn down a fat, juicy worm. That's it. She will take, she's never fished a day in her life, they right? They can turn down my worms. The, yeah, they, they can turn, turn down your worms. <laughs> she can turn down my worms. She will go, we will go to the lake, throw, listen, throw in a worm, and she will leave the pole alone, go about her day, fixing up the, you know, the campsite or whatever, go back to the pole, just pull in a fish, yep, got myself one, and put it on the fire, in the frying pan, done. Right? I'll be sitting there fucking around, fiddling around, fly fishing and all kind of other stuff, lures, all out of my flow tube in a boat, you know, messing around all day long, almost killing myself, come back with nothing. She's got dinner ready, right? Because she used a worm because that's the way to catch a fish. <laughs> but different people do different things for different reasons. Of course, using a worm is the easiest way to catch a fish, but, and the most efficient way to do it. Just throw it in there. Don't do any movement. And if you go to a certain time of day to go fishing, that's another thing. If you go first thing in the morning, oh, man, you can see them rising. If you come in the evening, just about dusk, this is summer days, right, in, You know, or late spring, come in about dusk, you'll see them come right. I'm talking a foot away from the edge. You don't even have to cast out far. And you'll catch fish all day long. They'll just come by there every day just looking for those worms. They're looking for your food. But it's the challenge that people want to deal with. Or they just want to fish the way they enjoy fishing. I like throwing my, my fly fishing rod right around. And I like doing that. But I know how to catch a fish. I'll just take a worm. And I can pick the right kind of fish that I want to eat. If I really want to eat, I know there's a lake with tons of catfish. Throw my hook in there with almost anything on it. They'll eat the hook by itself. <laughs> right? So I know how to go fishing. So... And the reason why I'm saying this is because I know how to exercise. I know if I do burpees, it's probably better. And I do push-ups and all kind of stuff. And I don't want to fucking do that, right? I want to have a good time. Now, Sonny, where does this happen in business? I'm, I'm there right now. If you lasted this long, congratulations. With business, it's the same thing. You need to figure out what, what fly fishing is for you in business. What riding a bicycle for you is in business. And you need to figure out how to fucking do it the way you want to do it. Now, all of these gurus, and I'm one of them, will give you a, a light path to follow. We will give you kind of a roadmap in a direction. Let's just say a direction to head into, right? But there's a lot of roads that lead to success. And they all go the same direction. And which road you take depends on what you enjoy doing more. What I'm doing with you right now and talking to you here on YouTube, I do it for free every day, day in and day out, because I enjoy doing it. I talk about software and I uh, talk a lot of shit to people or whatever because I have fun doing it. It's fun. I love using software. I love technology. Um, I love email marketing automation and and shit that works automatically and gets people to give me money. It's wonderful. So I love talking about it, and I love broadcasting every day and helping as many people as I can possibly help. If you don't like that kind of shit, then don't do it because you won't do it every day, right? So find out what makes you tick. There's, and there's something else my grandmother used to say all the time to me, and she used to say, who's skinning this cat? I'd be trying to tell her how to do something, and she'd go, who's skinning this cat, son? She say that all the time because there's more than one way to skin a cat. So if you decide that you want to contact your leads a certain way, like you don't like cold calling, then don't do it. Because if you don't enjoy cold calling and you don't enjoy talking to people on the phone, then it's not going to work for you as well as it works for me. So you need to cold email. But what if you're, what if you're the type of person that doesn't like to email, right? So I'll give you an example. I hate blogging, right? So I've actually hired a blogger, seriously, because I don't like doing it. I don't want to type. I hate typing. Do people want to chat to me on the messenger all the time. Look, this is the guy right now ch just chatting his ass off in fucking ma in, in messenger. I don't want to chat. I don't want to type. There's too much shit like this I can just like talk on. 
which leads me to my next example. People love doing these courses and stuff, but I'm not really into that so much. I, I'm, I really like just doing consulting for people, and I like coaching people one-on-one -on -one and getting that interaction and really helping people that need it and want it, right? So, like, courses are cool, and I have I even have a course coming out soon. And that's okay, but it's, it doesn't really help people as much as the one-on-one -on -one thing. So I decided to lean more towards that and get away from courses so much, right? So find out what works for you. It's going to take you a while, but don't just take what someone else says, go do 200 fucking burpees and start doing burpees and then you find out it sucks. You knew you didn't want to do burpees from the start. Don't start cold calling people when you know you hate the fucking phone. Figure out that hybrid thing and it will work for you. What works? So what if you are the kind of type of person that likes to um, uh, speak in uh, in public, right? You like to speak in public or whatever, and so you like getting your leads that way. Or you like to network and shake hands. And that means you need to go more out to meetups and... Providing value in meetups, you need to go get yourself a slide deck and start doing presentations for different little uh, people in their companies. Maybe you have somebody else doing your cold outreach for you just to say, hey, I'd love to come over and give you guys a presentation about safety um, in your in your company or whatever, right? Um, I do, um, I do uh, safety for big uh, warehouses, right? And we've got some new safety equipment, but I'm not here to talk about that. I just want to talk about general new practices for safety in 2018 and how to get your warehouse up to standards for the new GDPR uh, <laughs> uh, emails, marketing campaigns that have to do with safety too or some shit. Who knows? Whatever it is, but you go give that free presentation, go give up that value, whatever, give out your business cards or whatever, give out your social media profiles and go that route. If you don't like it doing videos, like I like doing videos, you don't have to, right? You, you can just do whatever makes you comfortable and just figure out a way to provide value to people the way you enjoy doing it, right? So you might say, well, Sonny, I like doing what you're doing. I like, you know, talking on a microphone. Well, then create yourself a podcast. And then you say, well, damn, Sonny, people don't, you know, it's hard to get, you know, there's no like directory for podcasts. It's hard to kind of like get popular. Well, then that means that you have to have somebody promote your podcast for you. you. You see what I'm saying? So like it's, everything will work, but you just need to figure out how to get whatever you like to do in front of the people that you want to help. That's it. So, and with business, I'm going to say this, and this is what has worked for me. If you wouldn't do it for free, then you shouldn't be in business doing it, right? So, like, do you really like SEO that much? Oh, I love SEO. I would do it for free for everybody. If you're that guy, then it's okay to be in the SEO business. But if you don't like it, or if you don't like people, if you don't like, like, I don't like people that much, right? So I don't want monthly recurring revenue from anybody because I don't want to deal with you month after month after month. I want to buy, I want to sell you a car one time and maybe in another 10 years you need another car I'll give you another one. But I do not want to see you every month for the monthly maintenance and, oh, my carburetor went out and all that. I don't want to talk to you about that shit, right? And that's why I don't do a small agency with a bunch of monthly shit to try to get money for it, right? Because I know it's not my character. I'll end up cussing out my customers. So you need to figure out what you would do. Do you like dealing with people? Be honest with yourself. Everything will work. Gary Vee says this. Everything will work, but you need to be honest with yourself. Do you want to deal with this shit, right? So just figure that part out and uh, you'll be fine. Do what makes you happy. At the end of the day, you need to be happy doing what, what it is you do So because you have to do it every day for a long time. Coffee break. <sighs> <laughs>